salutations my name is tish and welcome to the artist haven in tonight's live stream it is friday night color palette challenge oh, yeah. and that means that i've gathered some of my creative friends but before we get started <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we have all the technical difficulties worked out, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Let me introduce my love, my darling, my executive producer, Mr. Michael Sean Carter. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, man, here, here we are. We are so glad to be with everyone. Sorry, yeah, it's it's you know it's fifteen it's minutes after the hour, but the it's well well worth the well worth the wait. Yeah, that may be your anus, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not. oh my, oh boy. So, hey, it's great to be here on a Friday night, and we want to say hello to everyone. Welcome to the Arts Haven, and without further ado, let's introduce some lovelies that we have here. Um, oh my goodness, all the way out west. Janice. Hello, just Janice. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. We've got a lovely bunch of coconuts tonight, all standing in a row. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good night. It's a good night. Um, that's 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 one way to, one thing to call us. We're definitely nuts. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> It's fun. <laughs> oh, I'm painting. I'm using paint paint tonight. I'm using um, these are colors that I think some of them are Marcy's and some of them are uh, I don't know. I just know I had them and <laughs> I'm going to use them and they were very close to the right colors. So <laughs> they were here. <laughs> they, were, they were here. So I just grabbed them. <laughs> right here. Mm -hmm. They were here. They were already on my table waiting for me. So. They were waiting. They were waiting. Sounds like, sound like this. Audience. Yeah. Uh, I don't have patience. I'm not a doctor. That's <laughs> <laughs> probably, it's probably anyway. a good thing. All right. I'll well, tell you what. Let's go a little further east into the... Lovely area of Arizona. It's acrylic painting with Julie. Hello, Julie. Welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. 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 I'm so happy I'm here. I miss you guys. We miss you. you. And that's why we are, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna work through the audio issues if any arise. Because cool. Because we love Julie and I wanted her here because it's been a really rough week and I need as much friend time as I can get. Yeah. So I, I just appreciate my friends can come hang with me live. So yeah. I tried everything. I tried. <laughs> I called his son. He went looking before he got late for work. Yeah. And Sparky had what he had on hand, came home with it, and that didn't work. And so, as far as a headset, trooper. Yeah, with the headset <laughs> things and everything. So, I mean, it's what happens when you partially move, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, or when you move, you're just lost in a box somewhere, probably. Half baked. You're just half baked, Julie. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but we are over on a little desk in the corner of the new studio. Yay. And we got search one of the lights up, and another ring light over here. Everything else is working. The only problem was the headset. That was the only issue. So we'll make it work. Yeah. Yes. I don't even think you have a big overhead shadow this time, do you? Like when I was on the floor. No. It looks fantastic. It looks cool. Good. Yay. So what are you gonna be working on tonight there, Jules? Uh, I got a clear board and I'm gonna ink on it. And I got what we call Clara boards. Yeah. <laughs> The cradle boards, yeah. Yep. So, um, yeah, it's a, a Da Vinci cradle board. It's a 12 by 12, three quarters inch thickness, ultra smooth. 
and I got some T-Rex. I got some pinata and ranger. And um, let's see, some more pinata stuff. And we're going to ink. I'm going to ink myself. Oh, my Okay, so tonight, I, 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 um, mark it on your calendar, peoples, because this only happens twice a year. Um, I, I didn't feel like working with paint tonight. I, I just didn't feel like getting messy. Um, my hands have already been washed like 18,000 times today and they're starting to get that dry tingly feeling. So, and it's not that it's not a not so fresh feeling. So, um, anywho, um, <laughs> so I'm going to make some Franken paper and I've got some color. I've got paper in all different kinds of colors. I'm going to grab one of my stamp pads here in a second. Cause I've got some manila paper that kind of looks like the wheat color and so i'm going to stamp on that with some blue and i've got some brown and i've got like shovel several shades of blue going on here and we're just going to kind of do something whimsy and fun and do some franken paper if you don't know what franken paper is stick around to the end of the live stream because this goes very quickly once yeah. i get going because Tish is working with Nilla wafers. Yep. <laughs> Nilla wafers. I wish. God, that actually sounds really good. Between that, between that and a, uh, who is making that hockey noise? I think somebody's so, getting a phone call. Uh oh. It like, sounds like an air yeah. horn. Yeah. Oh, geez. <laughs> Oh, it was me. My son was calling. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, it's it's okay. It's a pop up found... at the top of my screen going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All I could hear was bzz, bzz. <laughs> It sounded like a foghorn. Like, he's still right, talking. He's got... Who knows? I told him I was having a live tonight at six. I don't know what's going on with him. Well, he maybe he found you some You're earbuds. Or right, he's probably he's supposed to be at work. Oh my God! There it goes again. Stop <laughs> it. He just won't stop. Mm -hmm. the he loves you, Julie. I know he does, but. <laughs> oh. Goodness. Because oh. <laughs> that's what it sounds like in my headphones. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's just on no, my it's, with no it's, sound it's, here. So it's just all. <laughs> I have no comment. <laughs> okay, so the, I think tonight I'm going to continue on Gus the Gnome. Oh, oh, me. Me. I love gnomies. Mm. Hanging with the gnomies. All right. Woohoo. So I want to start this. That but... time of the year for, for gnomes. I yeah. love gnomes. Uh, ta -ta, ta -ta -ta -ta. All right. Let's see. What are we going to do? That's black. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Where's that bottle? Up a little bit. Push it real good. <laughs> oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> and if we get a copyright claim on that one, then you're <laughs> it'll probably be for a oh, totally well. different song. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Probably oh, so, for my oh, oh my god, they're like, oh, you know, that was from a show, right? <laughs> right, called Oh My God. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let me give a shout out to those in the chat tonight. Tammy is here, Tam's art. Hello, Tammy. Welcome, welcome. Tam, Tam. Tam. Also, we have Gretchen here, images by Gretchen. Hello. Gretchen. Hi, Gretchen. Gretchen says, Michael, I've been drawing gnomes daily since Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh. going. Nice. She yeah. has. They're really cool looking. All right. Well, I'd like to see some of those. Can you mute me a second? There's no place like gnome. Yeah, I can mute you. Thank you. 
There's no place like gnome. There's no place like gnome. There's no place like gnome. (laughs) You click your gnomes together three times. (laughs) And Helen is here tonight. Hello, Helen. Hi, Helen. Aloha. Aloha, Helen. Aloha. Helen, if you want to jump in tonight, more the merrier. Brown just a little nuts here. The party has started. Hey guys, I have to go. My son is having an emergency. So okay. Okay. Love and prayers to you. It just wasn't meant to be. So all right. Love you guys. We'll touch base with you later, dear. Okay. Well, love and prayers out to her family. Yep. Yes. Yes. That's why he was returning call. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. I didn't didn't think he was that kind of kid. You know? Yeah, no, he doesn't bug. And he knows she was going live. The funny thing is, is, I don't know, just probably not even two hours ago, I, she was uh, sad that she wasn't going to be able to come on. And uh, I said, well, you know, that you're not. there's a reason for it. And hopefully it's not a bad thing, but there's a reason for it. So, Well, we found out the reason. And, and everything will be fine. Everything yes. will be good. Nothing but positive thoughts. Yes. That's so. Right. Dang it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got a flutter by on that one. I may have to use that. This is a, a stamp that I got on Amazon. This is a Stampers Anonymous one. And it's just a script. And it looks really cool. So. Oh, I love um, that one. And I'm using the Memento ink. It's not. <clears throat> it's I, I don't have a brown in. in oh, wait, I do. I should have used that. Oh, well, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, so we're just going to go with it. So Yay. I love that stamp. I, 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 I use it a lot, actually, like for just like a background. Yeah, that's what I use it for. I love it. I got to grab pipettes. <laughs> so I just have... Just try and have as much fun with stuff as I can. And where it didn't print real well, you just rip it. You rip it real good. And no one will know the difference. Phew. 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 Pew, pew. Oh, no, <laughs> a different thing. Never mind. I'm looking at this um the thing that makes the flowers and it's almost like a really pretty like snow scene it's really pretty oh yeah mm-hmm. hey okay let's do it let's do it do it to so it start with that one that one i actually i forgot to do one thing because i was going to actually mark off where 12 inches was so i can keep it about the right size because i can't use my hands like that because it'd be deemed inappropriate and i get thrown off of youtube sorry so we just we just wing it there we go not sure why. I don't know why people would think that. <laughs> I'm not inappropriate. I'm perfectly appropriate. You're perfectly appropriate. I'm perfectly appropriate. <laughs> Just people have bad thoughts. And they right. blame me for them. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Oh, I do have a gray. I could have used the gray. That would have been cool. Oh, well, it's good. Mm, It is what it it is. It is what it is, and that's what it is. It is what it is, and that's all I... Oh, wait, no, that's Popeye. 
Oh, that's right. I am, I what, am I what I am. I am what I am, and I am. I am what I am, and that's all that I am. That's right. I feel sorry for olive oil because he always talks about yams. I know. Yam all the time. Just yam, 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 yam. Mm -hmm. Jesus, it's like, Papa, I'd give it a rest, would you? Oh, my God. Hey, Popeye. I'm going to do another technique with these colors. I'm, I'm going to be doing like two or three different techniques in these colors because somebody wants pieces. But she okay. wants to see the different techniques, and these colors really spoke to her. So, Well, there you go. You can't deny when something speaks to you. That's Unfortunately right. for me, it's usually chocolate cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cupcakes, cookies. Yeah, that's usually that's usually what speaks to me. Okay, that's the only one I'm gonna ink because the white really stand that stood out. Standed. Listen to Stand me in out. my English. Listen to me in my English. Oh, yeah, it really stand it out. <laughs> Good Lord. That's okay. Did we lose Michael? Mm -hmm. No, I'm still oh. here. Yeah. Oh, he's concentrating on his gnome. He's concentrating on his gnome. Well, I know I'm actually I'm checking. We just we've got some latency going on and I'm just trying to see if it's on my end or you know, we're still waiting for the fiber optic to get installed and the groups are trying to work best they can in the month of December with the weather and whatnot. Yeah. So they've got a lot of the conduit run and I think for the eleventh time we have the water lines out here busted. Oh my so, god. I, yeah, are, it had to have been at least 11. Information. Yeah, so wow. that they're getting. So um, it's been kind of tough, you know, not really blaming them. It's just that if they're not given the right information comparative to contacting, you know, the local water department really comes out and things aren't marked right. They just yeah. end up, you know, kind of sets them back, too, because the plain fact they got to stop doing and wait until that water line gets fixed. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, we're hoping that uh, maybe t towards the end of the month, uh, fiber optic will be running. And well, that'd be awesome. Absolutely, we're ready. And the water lines won't be messed with anymore. And <laughs> yeah, we can yeah, take that, showers and yeah. we can take we can do yeah. laundry without yeah. having to worry about wrecking our our washing machine. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Well, even the lines too, they get so much crap in them and we have to bleed the lines out for all the oh air. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Hello, Mike Van Doozy, the good <gasps> Mr. Hunt. Welcome, welcome. Mr. Van Doozy. I'm so happy to see you. Absolutely. Glad you're here. You yeah. Mike said fiber optic is awesome. Got one gig up and down. Yep, that's what we're signed up for. What's so signed up? Yep, we're, so, we're ready. We got our tickets. We're standing in line. <laughs> we're ready for the Stones to perform. I'm ready to see, you know, Keith and Mick and I'm ready for ready that e ticket something. ride. Start start us up. Start me up. Let's start go. me up. I'm ready for something to start me up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I have never had these paints make sales before. This is really interesting. How old are they? Wow. Um, yeah, they're that old. But then that, that's part of it. Yeah. It's part of the separation process from the binder. Yep, you're right. I didn't even think about that. That's okay. That's what so I'm here for. I think of those <laughs> you think for me. <laughs> I think of those weird things. <laughs> That's just the way my brain works. Yeah, but I think I see gnomes in there. Yeah, there's gnomes in here. Yeah. Shut they're up! Little, they're little hats and everything. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow. There <laughs> are gnomes in there. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. Gnomes. Actually, if you look just straight <laughs> down, it looks like an owl. Like there's his two eyes and his beak. 
and all the ruffly fle feathers on his oh, chest. Oh, yeah. He's so, sticking his yeah. 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 Looky there. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm probably going to just show her this one and probably, but I mean, the way that he's making cells, I'm thinking of just doing a ribbon pour or something for her, too. Do I like it. my little gnomes. I like the gnomes. The little gnomes. There's no place like gnomes. <laughs> I was just talking about Mike earlier. Okay. I said he one of his videos popped up on my feed um while I was eating, and I'm like, okay, that's going to the watch later list. Mm -hmm. mm, yep. I keep telling people you want to watch some awesome yeah. theater work. And, right. Oh. Well, they're working on uh logs now, doing sort of like a log cabin type of type of thing and really coming up with some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Mike's just it, it is just his imagination in it between him and Keeley and the stuff they've come, you know, uh uh, produced and put out and come up with is just great. And I mean, it, you know, it, it, it's like if he's going with sci-fi or if he's going with some type of steampunk spin, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde going with log cabins, you know, all kinds of different themes, you know, you just, they, they grab up something and they run with it. And I think that's fantastic. So everything yeah. is within the yeah. artist's scope. And yep. he is a true, and same with Keely, they're both true artists. Oh, yeah. They get inspired with something and, and they run with it. And that's yep. just, that's awesome. So, I mean, that's that's creativity right there. So, yeah. yeah. Well, Keely's work has been, you. oh. Yeah. The painting on the rocks even that she did. Great. Yeah. She's oh, really I mean, rocking it. Rocking it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> My goodness. Hmm. More of the hair. Roll with it, baby. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Here we go. Ready? In the news today. Oh boy. <laughs> The aliens invaded the planet. Maybe, maybe, maybe they invaded you. Yeah, you know. Grabbed Tish up and took her away. Hey, really I felt weird. like I was abducted by aliens a couple weeks ago, man. You were. Yes. Oh, I just I, wasn't supposed to tell you. I yeah. felt I really was in the hospital. and prodded. <laughs> There were yeah. a few people there that I well, thought they were said they weren't going to do that, but I said, you know what? Go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. That's fine, oh, guys. thanks, Michael. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Yeah, I was kind of like, uh, first of no! all, like, <laughs> and then I went, who's going who's, who's gonna to cook my supper for me if you kidnap her? <laughs> yeah, I'll just. Uh, I, I get grub up. Um, oh, thanks. Like, I'm that bad of a cook or something. Oh, hey, geez. it's been a busy week. It's been a busy week. A lot going on. I mean, you've got all kinds of changes in Twitter. We've got um, Donald Trump now has uh, NFT. So let's not, uh -uh. <laughs> We're not talking about that cr creature. I'm just saying there's stuff out there that you can check out on social media. I'm not going to talk about it, just mentioning things. But what I do want to talk about was last week on Saturday Night Live, Steve Martin and Martin Short, both guest hosts together. Um, yeah. They've got a series that they do on Hulu that is with Selena Gomez. It's a great series. But I tell you what, if you want to see some funny, funny stuff, just getting in that old time Saturday Night Live vibe. Check out uh, from uh, yeah last weekend. Good stuff. Tish and I watched some of it, and we were just just <laughs> chuckling. So he was more chuckling than I was, but that's okay. Oh, you 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 were chuckling. Chuckle chuckle. Goodness. <laughs> but, um, let's see. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on within 
the realm of DC Comics and all the movies, they're going to start recasting everyone. Henry Cavill yes. had been Superman, is no longer going to be Superman. They oh, brought yeah. him in the offices, James Gunn and the other guy, I can't think of his name. They talked to him. They said, look, we're just we're going to go a different direction. So, um, but if anyone's familiar with Warhammer, uh, mm -hmm. 1000, yeah, looks like they're going to actually do a series on that. Maybe it'll hit, I think it's supposed to hit Netflix and that's where Henry Cavill's going. He's to yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So, uh, it'd be interesting to see how that plays out. He left the Witcher because he just said that they're not really following along with what the actual storylines were for the graphic yeah. novel. So he yeah. said by the Witcher and he was going to come back and be Superman. And then they were like, no, we're going to go a different direction. So that's that. So he's going back to the Warhammer. That's why oh. you always say never quit your day job. Yep. Never, never say never. Never say never. All right. You blessed thing. Follow those fails. Get a bigger hammer. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to see what they do with Robert Pattinson and with the Batman. Yeah. I, I thought it was good. I, I liked it. I thought Matt Reeves did a really good job with just taking it compared to the fact that uh, whenever Ben Affleck was you know, going to do it and he just said, hey, I'm going to step away. And they stepped in and did their own thing. I'd like to kind of see them take that a little further. It's good stuff. And um, I think that, um, that that's a good good spin i think honestly when that happened and they saw how well that worked kind of going back showing some of the beginnings of batman i think they're kind of thinking they want to do that with superman now i think they kind of want to go that direction like with the first years of superman yeah of that yeah. makes sense yeah so i think that's they're going to try to find a younger actor and and go that direction well they just uh, ezra um yeah ezra miller is that his name uh yeah I think yeah. it's Miller. Yeah. Miller, yeah, playing the Flash, and and that situation has just come to the point that they they just you know he's had yeah. too many personal problems, can't use him. So yeah, yeah, it's just that's life. So there we go. Mm -hmm. It's like casting a new James Bond, you know. Yep, we just have to hang on. Yep, Let's see what they do. Mike Van Dusen says they asked me to take Henry Cavill's place, <laughs> as Superman, but I, I don't want them to CGI my beard out. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. sounds like something they would do. So I, 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 I respect you for standing by your principles, Mike. Yes, definitely. Mike, I think you're the kind of guy that you could shave your beard and then you fart real good, and your beard would pop right back out. That's what. That's I'm right. Yeah, right. I, I, I don't think you'd have a problem with that. But you, you know, know. you could grunt really hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> His beard has returned. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oh my goodness. What, what else is going on? We are, uh, what, nine days away from Christmas Day? Yeah. Yeah. Shh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shh. Yourself. Shh. <laughs> yourself. It's happening. It's, it's, it's coming. You can't hold it back any longer. Party time. You know, <laughs> yeah. It's definitely something. For those that like to celebrate Christmas or, you know, any of the other holidays for that matter, Hanukkah has been going on. Yeah. Yeah. So. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah to everyone. Eight days. Hey, crazy nights. We've got some weather that's really going to kick in. That cold blast is going to hit everybody. Right? Yeah. It's been, even here, it's been wow. Like in the low 30s, upper 20s. Goodness. And Arizona was even feeling it, I guess. 
and it teases us because it looks like it's sunny outside and I go outside and things start to freeze. That's not cool. Big news for Gretchen. Her 45th wedding anniversary is tomorrow. Congratulations. Oh. Yay. That's cool. Happy yeah. anniversary, Gretchen. Congratulations on standing the same person for 40 yeah. years. <laughs> I, 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 hey, I, I mean that in all seriousness and with complete love and respect, yo. <laughs> because that is a feat in today's day and age. Yeah, it is. You know? You've done good. It's a good deal. <laughs> what? Did I say something? I just, again? No, I just see some things in this painting that shouldn't be there. <laughs> it's okay. It is yeah. what it is. Anything you want to point out? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like in. Right there. Looks like somebody took their bra off and they just fell. Oh. I mean, <laughs> Gravity <laughs> struck. Right there. <laughs> One, one's a little loppy. Yeah. One's a little flopping down. Well, one is always bigger than the other. That's true. Just, just, well, just the implant in this one just went. Oh. <laughs> well, it is California. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Oh, All right. So Gretchen says, I met him second week, freshman year of college, yes. 1974. Nice. Yep. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yes. Congrats, Gretchen. And she's back. She's off a hiatus. And so she's reading again. Best librarian ever in the world. Nice. So if you want a nice story to relax at night. Oh, it's awesome. 630 Pacific. 930 Eastern. Of course, you guys can figure that out, right? Where'd that flutter bike go? Do, do, do. It flew away. <clears throat> well, I just had it and it just like, where'd it go? <laughs> Damn it, Janet. <laughs> okay. I'm losing my brain. Oh, I thought I saw somebody, something roll by here a minute ago. That would have been my brain. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake. You made it all the way to California. It was quick. Yep. But, you know, there's mm. sometimes floaters, you know. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that'll be pretty. I'm going to put that on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a little more. Okay. If I were a stamp with a butterfly on it, where would I be? Stuck to the bottom of <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Like, for real, I just had it. And I said, I'm going to use that later. So I put it someplace where I wouldn't lose it. And guess what happened? <laughs> I lost it. Great googly moogly. Okay. <laughs> the only relationship I, that she has that is longer is the one with her Canon cameras. That is so <laughs> cool. <laughs> I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, I found my 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 gnomes. <laughs> I 
Okay, where am I gonna put you? <laughs> Look in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back and have a drink of my beverage. Look at the bottom and of your cup. Yeah, maybe it's at the bottom of my cup. Here, let's sip and find out. <laughs> nope. Sad day. Um, and longer than she's had Bob. That's so cute, Gretchen. Okay. Where did it go? It's near the fluttered letter. Is it stuck to the the script one? No. Well, it's it's on a stamp pad. Like. Oh. Okay. Oh, here it is. It fell hmm. off my table. Ha! See. That's how. I, that's how I roll, yo. <laughs> I'm gonna do pink I like Helen's idea. Look in the fridge. That's where I have to look for everything. My phone. Well, the one day, this is a while back when I was living in Anoka, I brought in groceries and one of one of the things that I had was um a whole chicken, right? And apparently my phone fell off out of my pocket and into the bag like I set down the bags and my phone fell out of the pocket and it landed in the bag with the chicken and I threw the chicken in the freezer because I was gonna save it for later. <laughs> so my phone was in the freezer for like a day. Oh my gosh. And it's like oh, okay, well great grateful that it's a cheap phone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think the longest it's been in the fridge for me has been only like maybe two hours. Well, I, I did it at, because Cub Foods is open 24 hours, and I went there after work. So, oh, wow. and I didn't notice that it was gone until morning. Oh, my goodness. That's so funny. Oh, my goodness. So Did it work? Yeah, it worked. It, the battery was dead when I pulled it out. Yeah. Um, oh, that's funny. That's just my life, though. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. I leave mine. I accidentally threw it in the dryer once, changing over laundry. But I happened to, my mind, I walked out of the, turned the light off, walked out of the laundry room, and went, where's my, oh my gosh, I scooped it up. So it only tumbled for just a minute or two. <laughs> so. I'll tumble for ya. <laughs> okay, All right. I'm going to go put this over here. See, before I got clear blocks for my stamps, I used to use the lid of the stamp pad. So that's why there's a butterfly on this stamp pad. So that's how I, that's called being creative. <laughs> So, there we go. Mother of Pearl. There we go. All right. Let's get this kind of. One day I'm going to do a project with nothing but stuff from the Dollar Tree. I have some of the stuff already, um, except for the only exception to that rule will be ink pads because I have not been able to find ink pads at Dollar Tree, but you can get ink pads for actually inexpensive. So if you were talking, I just missed the last minute or two. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that I printed my headphones off. I'm <laughs> I'm moving around and I'm thinking, I'm not that far away. Why did I take them off? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Janice. Oh, Janice. That's me again. I love you. <laughs> love you. 
very willing. You know, we were talking today. I, I, um, we do this session in Max on Discord every week, mm -hmm. and we were talking today about people that have come and gone <clears throat> on on YouTube. You know, most people realize how much work it is, and they they stop. Yeah. And no disrespect to them at all, not even a little. No. Because it is a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work, yeah. And being monetized is not the end-all, be-all that people think it is. Right. But we were talking about um, people that have come and gone while you're, you know, while you're on your journey. And it's like I, I was talking about the people that, because I started back in 2019, July 15th, 2019, and it was 100 videos in 100 days video challenge with uh, Johnny. Johnny and, yeah. And, and Marcy. Marcy, from, yeah. From Mixed Media Girl. And um, just... To say that, <clears throat> I, I, I honestly think there's only like, not including Marcy and Johnny, because they were part of the challenge, but they weren't part of the challenge. Um, I think there's maybe four of us left out of, I think we started with like 25 or 28 at the beginning of the challenge. Wow. Yeah. So. Holy cow. If you're a content creator and you're still here after a few years, you've beat the odds. Congratulations. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. So <clears throat> give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah. Just don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Because we want you here on YouTube. <laughs> There's a lot of really cool things coming up for 2023. And it's... It's gonna be it's gonna be a great year. Yay. That's gonna be exciting. Helen's been looking for her keys since yesterday. She what had them. Her daughter had them in her car. Oh no, Helen! I'm so sorry. From when your daughter came by Wednesday. Oh. Oh no. Oh, no. That sucks. I hate, I, I hate losing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you search and search and search and search and search. Right. And, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang. But, yeah, I mean, if there's fun new stuff, I'm looking forward to that. That's exciting. Yes, I'm, I'm excited. I, I don't know. I get excited about dirty things, so yeah. <laughs> so don't mind me. That's okay. We know you do, and that's okay. Okay. So when you're designing, I'm gonna give you a helpful hint that I usually tend to forget. When you're designing your freaking paper, you kind of want to have an idea of what you're gonna do with it, because you wanna. If you're gonna do tags, you're gonna want to think in strips. If you're going to do like art cards, you're going to want to think in quarters or, you know, sixths, I guess. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but if you don't know what you're going to do yet, the best idea is to think in quarters because quarters will cover just about everything. So like right here, I need something and right here I need something. So um, I'm just going to take some. And if you think in quarters... You know, you're not going to see this paper down here. So you you can repeat your paper. So this is just one sheet of paper made from a bunch of scraps. And you can use, like, double-sided paper, like something like this. This is Tim Holtz paper. And that way you get a different pattern on either side. So you yes. got, like, two kinds of paper. Yeah. So, yeah. It's pretty damn cool, eh? That is awesome. So, and these are thinning shears, and I'll show you the pattern that they make, which I think is really cool. 
Um, it kind of reminds me of like the old school postage stamps. Let's see. Oh yeah. yeah. I've seen you use those. Those are awesome. That's a great idea. So there's you can see the pattern that it makes. It just kind of gives it a frayed edge. And I, I, I love that. And I'm That's like, this so is the cool. best $8 I think I've ever spent. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So that's kind of dark to put there. But we're just still going to put it there. This is that Tim Holtz paper. And I, I found some Tim Holtz paper on clearance on Amazon. I'm like, why oh. is it on clearance? Yeah, no kidding. It's like, this is, this is awesome. So it's, it's, it may, pretty, uh, it's pretty. It cool. may be a discontinued I don't pattern. Think so. I've seen it since then on like other sites. Maybe it's just like a, like an overproduction thing or something. Could be. I don't know. I don't even pretend to know because that just gets me in trouble. <laughs> Sometimes scissors, these these card these card stocks are too heavy. Yeah. Or especially his. Some of these scissors, these like specialty fluty scissors. So we're just gonna rip it. Rip it good. See, I like that. Okay. So I'm going to put this one, even though they're kind of right next to each other, I'm okay with that. Because I need to put something right there, and then I think I'll be done. Woohoo! My chair. Excuse me. <laughs> grumble, grumble. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Silly chair. Silly really good. Always trying to get you in trouble. Yeah. I, I do that enough on my own. I don't need any help with that, yo. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put I wonder how that would look. Let's try something. Oop, I've got the hiccups again. Imagine that. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Oh, I just ripped it. That wasn't supposed to happen. And this is why I'm grateful I have vinyl tools because it works really good to get pieces of paper out of your paper bunch. Yeah. There we go. I was trying to get it so it'd be the whole like shadow of it because I thought that looked cool, but it's not. Aww. So it's okay. I'm okay with okay. it. It's okay. I'm good with it. I've accepted that that punch does not like me. And that's okay because there's lots of things in this planet that don't like me. Michael, he said he's having some studio issues, so he think he's going to reboot. And then he said, good evening, good night to everyone. Have a great weekend. Yeah, he's been having computer issues. Poor guy. Yeah. I noticed he got quiet. And I lost my dog. There you are. Okay. You got it. Good job. He's been found. He's been found. He had to, to change vets, 
we found a much better vet. Oh yeah. Listen to us. Oh yeah. Good. Well, yeah, it's it's been a rough road the last couple of weeks, but it's okay. It's getting better. He goes to. He's going to see a chiropractor now too. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, um, the dental surgery he had to have done and have teeth pulled. Yeah. Um, they knocked his jaw and everything way out of whack. And yep. And uh, they didn't. They didn't listen to me when I said something's not right. He said, "Oh no, he's fine. It's just his neck." And so we finally found another vet, and she said, "Oh no, here we're going to do this laser treatment. He's going to feel better, and he's got an infection in there that they didn't catch. So we're going to treat that. And he's going to go to a chiropractor." And I, I'm going to tell you a little story about a chiropractor and a dog. Okay. So a friend of mine back home in Minnesota, his dog, who was like his world, got hit by a car going 55 miles an hour. The vet was really cool and really progressive, but the vet tech, she was like, oh, we're going to have to probably put your dog down. Oh, yep. And the vet that. comes in and goes, okay, you have, we have two options or three options here. One, we can put her down. Two, we can send you to the University of Minnesota and it's going to cost you a minimum of $5,000. Or three, I can call in the chiropractor and he can manipulate the bone and I'll wire it together. And so between the vet and the chiropractor, they put this dog's jaw back together and yep. saved her life. Yep. So anytime anybody flukes on a chiropractor... I tell them that story. Yeah. Now, just like any kind of doctor, just like any kind of thing, there are quacks and nut jobs. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, out there. But there are also really, really good quality people too. Yeah. So, so this guy is a he's a people chiropractor and he works on horses and dogs oh, cool. and yeah, it's it's awesome. I'm I'm looking forward to him not walking crooked anymore right walking like he's going uphill yeah he kind of walks like he's raked to one side Poor and his back rake. in <laughs> beep 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 yeah Poor baby. <laughs> i mean i'm not making i don't mean to make fun no it, I, no it, it's, know, it's, it's actually it's, I, funny I can just see him just doing that the poor yep. little thing yep poor little guy <laughs> But he's getting better, and he just the medicine just kind of sometimes knocks him out. But that's okay. He just needs to chill. He still thinks he's two years old. So, right? Why is it that all the dogs that are like old think they're like puppies? Yeah, <laughs> they want to run fast, jump high, still. But then again, yeah. so do I. So, well, yes, yeah, so do I. So I can't really blame them. <laughs> but you know, okay. So we're gonna. No, that's too big. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> no. Okay, they're going to do that, that right there. And then we're going to do that one right there. And then I think I'm going to be done because if we go quarter and quarter, I think, I think we're good. So. Mm -hmm. And I usually like, when I'm doing Franken paper, I usually turn it a little bit more like, turn things around more like, you know turn the paper yeah. while i'm working on it this i did a little bit not as just much to, as i normally do but yeah just so create this is, different angles and lines for your eyes yep just yeah. just to kind of like look at it differently but yeah. this had a lot of print in it like pictures and print and stuff so i want them to kind of go a certain direction but yeah, I get that. So, a little bit of uniformity is okay. I don't like matchy matchy though. No, that gets boring. No, I mean there's sometimes where you want matchy matchy. Yeah, but not in Franken paper. Not in Franken paper. Though. Hmm. And now I lost the lid to my glue stick, which is a good thing, which is not a bad thing actually, because I have 
extra lids because I lose my I lose my lids all the time. And I have extra lids all around. See? It's probably on the floor underneath my desk. So you'll find five lids under there. Oh, I, I already did. I, I, I this is the new desk. I already set it up and I found like seven lids underneath. It's like it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So my gesso wants to fall over. It's all right. You do, you did. <laughs> Let's go over this with some ink. Just kind of random. I really like this color palette. I do too. It's very calming. Yes. I almost feel like I need something right here. Just one tiny thing right there? Yeah. 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 Hmm. I'll think about it. Maybe I'll come back to it. So, are you ready for your close-ups, Miss Jenny's? Yeah, I've got the other one I already put away on the rack, but wait, okay. I can I can grab it real quick. Oh, wow. Check those cells out. Those are really cool. That's my chair, you guys. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> yeah. 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 You just took them off. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oops, can you get the string, the cord out of it? Can you hold that back? Okay, sorry. So that's Nuts. the ribbon pour. This is the other one I did. It was just kind of like a, I did a split cup just to, to see the different designs and oh wow, the, the different colors. I love how wispy that is. Yeah, I love wisps. I love just. I think it, it's feathery. It's feathers, yeah. 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 And then I just did a ribbon pour with it too. So just to show the different effects you can get with these colors for her yeah, yeah just take the headphones off look thank you <laughs> oh, shoot. oh no uh oh what happened i hear her giggling in the background so it can't be that <laughs> bad <laughs> We're having technical difficulties. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I dropped the painting, but I caught it with my leg. What? Yeah, I, I went to put it back and it slipped, and I caught it with my thumb and my leg, but I didn't ruin the whole thing. But at least you'll get an idea. But you know what? You're going to still make that thing look fabulous because oh. that's you. Because you'll use it as a backdrop for something, and you'll I, do something really cool on it. I know you. It's <laughs> funny. My brain was turning as I saw the ga the gape of paint. There was, you know, this big gap of. I went, oh, I know what I could put there. So <laughs> See, you are just like there's there's some of us that can do that, and there's some of us that can't. You are one of those people that can, my dear. Oh, you are one of those people that can. Gosh, thanks. Yeah, it's got the steampunk colors going on, so why not? So. Right? Yeah. That's also what I, that's why I picked this these papers is because yeah. it's just like hang on, I'm gonna show you this this Franken paper. So it's got a little bit of gold in the lettering there. That's the paper I used the other night. I had a couple of scraps laying on my on my table here. Gosh, I love it. And I love that girl. She's so cute. So cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. So when you have scraps, now granted, I took regular pieces of paper and just started ripping them up because I knew I was going to use it in a collage stuff anyway, so why not? But there's little, this is that Tim Holtz paper that it, it had the ad on one side and this other thing on the other side, and I couldn't decide, so I used both. I used little snippets of both. That's but I think awesome. there needs to be something right here. 
but on the back side, you could collage on the back side and do something completely different and then have two sided tags, or you can just leave it the way it is. And then when you cut it into tags, you just put a piece of paper there. So you have a journaling spot or note taking wow. area. And you just, you know, any way you, you cut this, it's going to yeah. look cool. That's going to so, be awesome. Wow. Good I'm job. Excited. Thank you. And good job to you too. Oh, thank you very but, much. But th these are all the color. These are all the colors of the palette because we've got the light blue, this kind of darker blue, and the other lighter blue, and the really light blue, and then the brown kind of got covered up. Mm -hmm. I think I need to put some of that brown over here. Um, I just haven't figured out how I want to do it yet. So that's gonna be awesome. Anywho, so um. Next live stream is Wednesday night. If you'd like to be part of the live stream, contact mm -hmm. one of us and we'll get you hooked up. Uh, we welcome all artists from all walks of life in media formats to gather here with us, chill with us, art with us, have some fun with us. And next week is Christmas week. So, you know, it's all about being together, um, even if we can't be together. So... Uh, with that being said, y'all have a great night. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness. Bye. Toodaloo.